Look, I totally understand why people are defensive. You go through a tough time with someone and then naturally you pull back. You pull back because your sensitivity was damaged and you believe that the best way to go about life is defending yourself against that which is negative. But what I learned is that the amount of energy you place on being defensive is essentially a self-fulfilling prophecy manifesting that which you are afraid against. And it is the idea of being defensive that essentially attracts that which you are trying to rid yourself of. And Spirit showed me this and made me understand this through an analogy. They said, Nathaniel, imagine there's a criminal who wants to break into a house and he's standing in front of two houses and he has an option of breaking into the house on the left or the right. The difference between the two houses is that the one on the left is open. There's no walls. There's no fences. There's no dog. If the criminal wants to walk up to the front door, he can do that. There's nothing stopping him. And then on the right, that house has high walls, electric fence, dogs. It is just... There's just all kinds of security around it. It is monitored 24-7. It's totally blocked off. It's not as open as the, the house on the left. Between you and I, which house do you think the criminal is going to be enticed by? The open house or the house that is hiding something? Because the higher the walls, the more the reward for the criminal. So... By that theory, you start thinking that the more defensive you are, the more you entice a negative energy. And essentially, you just become the sitting duck for that which is negative based on the walls you place. But by being open, you realize you become like life, which is very much like a river streaming forward or flowing forward. And yes, the river is going to encounter huge rocks. But what does the river know about life? The river knows that there's only one way. And the river understands that despite there being rocks, which is the negativity, it cannot suddenly build up a wall and close itself off and then become a puddle of water that stagnates and draws in insects and all the shit that essentially stagnated water that does not flow in one direction starts attracting. The river, the stream, understands that it needs to flow to be pure. It needs to be open to be pure. And as much as there might be a massive rock that comes in its way, which is the negativity, it understands how to be the observer and the gate around the rock and then meet its purpose again. And continue straight because the river the stream understands that life is the balance between positive and negative that is the two permanent things that will always happen to you but positivity is the result of understanding a negative situation as a lesson and not a personal attack on you once you understand this you'll understand that there is no point being defensive against the permanence of life because you are only holding yourself back from so much abundance. And yes, you are going to be tested. But how you view the test results in how quicker you get to flow forward. But if you choose to hold the test, the negativity, as a blocked off thing and you're going to hold on to it and become defensive, you become that pool of water that does not flow and becomes infested. And you never move forward. You only stay in one place. And that is why so many of you who think defensiveness makes sense, stay in a cycle, stay in a rut. Year after year, the same thing happens and you don't feel like you're moving forward at all. We create our own problems here. And a lot of you aren't taught how to deal with this. So you create your own idea. Like you literally construct this and you think, okay, I'm going to do this. Some of you are willing to admit that it's wrong and some of you will hold on to it until you become bitter, bitter old people. And maybe in your older years, you will book a reading with me and I'll tell you the same thing I told you when you were younger. Just something I want you to think about.